Well, thank you very much for giving me the floor and I am very honored I can represent the city of Amsterdam in this wonderful workshop forum that we've been following the last week. I really think you did a very good job um, as especially the Ring Delta Metropole and Urban Brown. I want to thank you and I want to thank everybody who's here today that you're interested in our Euro Delta and that you want to join and help us working on this. What is a Euro, uh, you sure, your expert group? And what is a Euro Delta? What is all this about? I think you already learned a lot yesterday, but Alan Krita told me in the beginning there will be many people today that haven't been joining the first like, three days. So for some people, this will be something that they already know. And for some people, this will be new. I'm going, trying to find a little bit of balance between the two groups. Well, what I'm going to talk about first is uh, the context of our working group. Um, a little bit about the sure Euro Delta and the definition of the mega region. And then Emma De Weiss from the city of uh, um, Den Haag, she will talk about the milestone events and cross border activities in the Euro Delta. Well, the context the context is the strategic urban region Euro Delta. That's something that you all are aware of. On this map, you can see the founding partners, and you see that the city of Amsterdam and the Haag. Uh, uh, two of the partners, as well as Eindhoven, Antwerpen, Brussels, Gent, Lille. Now, I think you've and all these people and, and teams passed the last couple of days. Um, there's another player, which is Metrex, a big circle around. And before we continue, I want to tell you a little bit about what is Metrex. Um, I think some people heard Henk Baumann speaking the last days already. Matrix is the European network and organization. Henk Baumann is the secretary general. The network exists out of 49 members and we come together about two times a year. Um, and next to the big conferences, we have thematic and geographical expert groups. The network is basically working on, uh, first of all, the lobbying for the position of metropolitan areas in European policies, but it's also focusing a lot on knowledge exchange. I think this is primarily the most important thing we're doing. We are practitioners working in metropolitan areas at city government, and where you very often come from the spatial planning departments. We work together in relation to, we look at spatial planning in relation to economic development, climate, circular economy, and digitalization. Another subject of interest is public-private cooperation. And next to the expert meetings, we also do a lot of research. In 2018, uh, on behalf of the initiative from the city of Den Haag, we started a new geographical expert group, and that was a SURE network. And that was done under the secretary of Den Haag and will probably be soon taken over by the metropolitan area of Amsterdam, the secretary. Well, why did we start this working group? Well, what we see, actually, if you look, if you scale out on the world, you all are aware of the rapid urbanization that is happening right now, and that our urbanization is expanding the city borders. And the OECD said in 2016, we are right now in the metropolitan century. What we also see is the power shift. A decentralization is happening, especially in Europe. The, that is also very important because we are facing huge challenges. Um, you're all aware probably of this, the inequality in growth, um, the climate change, biodiversity, digitalization and pandemics. These are the themes that we have to deal with and we cannot do that with national policy. We need to do that on the bottom where actually that's where the people are living. At the same time, we see that the balance on the world market is changing. The Brexit, especially the Brexit, brought a new change in the economic power of the European Union, and we have to come find a solution for a new financial center. And at the same time, in 2018, the OECD is claiming that we are the mega region is something, a very important new phenomenon that is coming up and we have to deal with. So the mega region in Europe would be a sustainable alternative to the mega cities that we see in different countries all over the and different countries all over the world. If you look at the definition of a mega region of the OECD, then you see that the mega region is usually linked by infrastructure system. 
It has a very strong economic linkage, the settlement patterns, the environmental, shared environmental system, and a strong culture and history. All this basically would just mean that you should have joint policy decisions. Well, there's something this is very far ahead, and I think Cecilia will talk about this later. There are a couple of benefits that you're getting out of the mega regions. You have the agglomeration benefits because of the scale of this area. Business have a larger range for potential customers, partner suppliers, and workers gain a wider range of employment possibilities. And of course, residents benefit from it by very diversified cultural recreational um, a program they can be joined. Well, if you look at the Sure Euro Delta, then you see that the OECD said this is one of the potential mega regions of uh, Europe. It has a, it's an area with about 45 million inhabitants. 10% of the gross domestic product of the European Union is earned in this area, while at the same time it's 3% surface of the US, European Union. If you look at the scale of the Sure Euro Delta on the right side of the map, and you compare it to international other areas, mega regions like the Boston Washington mega region or the Shanghai Nimbu Nanjing mega region, you see that this is about the same scale. Looking back at the definition of the OECD, we see it has a very strong economic linkage and cooperation within this area. On the left side, you see the economic exchange, and on the right side, the connections between universities. We also see a very strong pattern settlement and a strong infrastructure connections. We may always say that the SURE network consists basically of a polycentric network of smaller, medium, and larger cities. Oops. Um, we also have an, uh, we also have a shared environmental system, namely we are all located within the rhine meuse delta, you see all the rivers. So we have a sharing very uh, strong challenges, shared challenges. And last but not least, we have a shared history and culture. I think this was one of the aspects that came up yesterday or the last days a couple of times, is the aspect of shared culture values, and that's something we should not forget. Well, looking at all this, we said, okay, this is a mega region and we should really look into what we're doing. I would like to give the word now to Emma. She will tell you what we are doing in the working group. Thank you very much, Dagmar. Uh, for all participants on the first next generation conference day, I present to you uh, our milestones, events and cross-border activities. Um, first, the mission of the SURE network. Um, we have a common goal and uh, we have already um, a narrative, a roadmap and a mission statement. Um, the SURE network provides a platform for exchange of knowledge, expertise and experience on the scale of the Euro Delta. And we're striving for a mega region without borders ensuring the greater prosperity, mobility, safety, and sustainability for everyone in the Euro Delta. Uh, this mega region is therefore an ideal experimental laboratory for cross-border cooperation, integration, and working together with the next generations in Northwest Europe. Um, we uh, implement the goals of the EU, uh, new uh, Green Deal, um, which, which says um, uh, there will be no uh, emissions of greenhouse gas. Uh, economic growth is decoupled from research use. No person and no place is left behind. And um, uh, we like to implement uh, or integrate as well the themes of the Leipzig Charter, uh, which is a green, productive and just uh, region. Um, we can go to the next. Uh, the activities of the Shore Expert Group. Um, the network uh, supports collective cross-border research and network activities for strengthening the mega region. We organize most activities in smaller working groups. And we work, for instance, together for network building, 
knowledge exchange and uh, research shared agendas as input for the EU, joint projects with EU funding, mapping and connecting with the next generation. We are pleased to hear from the future generations how you think about the ways we can design solutions on our big challenges uh, of the mega region and the developments uh, which we are facing in the future. Thank you. Um, we have the SURE export meetings. Um, you see them here. Um, we have uh, now, um, of course, uh, digital meetings. Uh, that's easier to meet each other. Uh, but of course, we also like to go uh, see each other physically. Uh, we explore themes such as uh, international mobility, uh, uh, specifically the shift from air to rail, uh, urbanization, circular economy, and we connect with other uh, organizations and networks such as OECD, uh, Scandinavian String Network, uh, and the Danube region. Uh, last and uh, next topic is about uh, specialized new economy in relation to urban renewal of um, business areas. Um, thank you. Uh, activities on the international mobility are uh, the ESPOM uh, STIS resource. Uh, STIS is for sustainable transport infrastructure in the Euro Delta. Um, I would like to talk about this first. Um, province of South Holland is initiator and lead partner of the Espon Stijs Research. The area has uh, four internal national borders that European integration and globalization have tended to abolish. These borders are crossed by people, goods or services and national and regional policy makers feel the urgency to collaborate more closely on policy solutions to address um, this a wide range of flows and achieve more sustainable development. So it's the combination of uh, mobility flows and uh, sustainable development. A targeted analysis uh, considers the uh, research area against its surroundings, uh, but not in a static way. It will um, uh, concern the transport and secondary spatial flows uh, to and from mega cities in the ring around the shore. Um, then uh, some positive news. Uh, we uh, may organize an um, uh, event on the next uh, European week of the regions and cities. Uh, it is ab about the main topic together for recovery. Uh, with the Shore Network, we may organize this event on the main event platform in the field of uh, green a uh, transition for a sustainable and green recovery. Uh, this event will give a podium for the ESPOM consortium to present the uh, STIS research. And our proposal is a workshop uh, with the title collaboration in the Euro Delta mega region, achieving the green transition uh, in mobility. One of our uh, studies on international mobility is on the shift from air to rail named uh, as a deliverable uh, Go Europe, Go Rail. Um, next slide, please. Uh, here you see a map with the potential reach of Amsterdam, Brussels and Cologne um, combined in the main train corridors. And one of the research findings is that medium-sized cities have also benefit of fast international rail connections close by. One of the conclusions is that the high-speed rail is a very good um, alternative for the airplanes. However, we should consider the hardware as well as the hard hardware. Uh, countries can easily develop uh, fast um, international train connections within one nation state, for instance, Spain or France, but it is quite difficult to develop the high-speed train connections cross-border between and with different countries. And that's so, so unique in the shore area. Thank you. Uh, the future uh, network activities. Well, now we are now um, uh, heading to the, our first step. Uh, this genera next generation podium will launch a brand new activity for us. And we are very happy uh, with this. We would like to cooperate uh, more closely with the academic field and with the next generation. Uh, as the concept of uh, Eurodelta is maybe not very new, uh, it's known for quite a while. And uh, like Dagmar said, um, there are some studies saying we are a mega region. 
there are a lot of ideas from research as well and from own study and work experience from you in everyone minds of uh, about the euro delta and in the future we would like to set up a scientific board with university universities around this uh, sure network thank you we will do some network building uh, our first step is to work together with other governmental organizations. Therefore, we have um, founded uh, the EuroDelta ne uh, network. Uh, and uh, our second step is now to connect with the academic field and look for opportunities by combining the practice of the governments and the scientific research and the ideas of the next generation. At last, we should uh, create a connection from our joint networks to and with the society. Uh, we stimulate everyone here to become a part uh, in the process. Uh, so uh, please work with us on the future. And um, um, we um, uh, are indeed uh, um, giving the secretariat to Amsterdam. So we have um, uh, every time uh, a different uh, city was um, uh, achieving uh, this goal with each other and um, uh, uh, organizing this network uh, with each other. Um, next slide, please. Uh, so um, on day one, Eric Pospier, our, our founding father, um, he already presented uh, shared um, challenges of interest. For instance, climate uh, adaptation uh, is a very um, important uh, uh, challenge. You see some pictures uh, here. Uh, thank you. Uh, and as well, the um, uh, um, international uh, connectivity. Um, thank you. And as well that we are um, uh, heading towards uh, cities where people um, have uh, active modes, other active modes than a car. So uh, walking, cycling is becoming more, more important. Thank you. And of course the digitalization and uh, knowledge exchange uh, and the knowledge economy is a very important aspect with what we think uh, this mega region uh, is unique for. So that's why, um, yeah, we are now uh, organizing this uh, for a good connection with uh, the academic fields. And um, yeah, to launch as well this concept of the Eurodelta and see what are your ideas uh, about uh, the, the Eurodelta. So please be an active part in this process. And um, we are very much looking forward to your ideas. Thank you.